Hi everyone! For our fourth challenge of Next Top Nail Artist, Tammy Taylor asked us to create a design inspired by our favorite couple's love story. For my inspirational couple, I chose Della and Jim from the short story The Gift of the Magi. It's actually a Christmas story, but I decided to give it a Valentine's Day twist. So I began by cutting my nail tips into a heart shape. To create my stopwatch, I drew an outline on a piece of paper and placed it in a plastic bag. Using a large bead of Tammy Taylor Sculpt, press the product into a circle for the base of the watch. After curing, add multiple beads to build up the border. Because this is a Valentine's Day challenge, I created the crown of the watch to look like lips. Dip your brush in the Shape It Up solution to prevent the product from sticking to your bristles. And remember, a little goes a long way. By dipping a silicone tool in the Sculpt solution, I was able to make holes in the product to create a chain. Using gold gel art paint, cover the border of the watch as well as the chain. Paint the face of the watch with white gel paint and paint the numbers and details with black. In honor of Valentine's Day, I decided to set the time to 2.14. Use Sculpt again to create the braid and press the product into shape one loop at a time. I left spaces between the beads so that the product wouldn't run together and I could have a more defined shape. To create blonde, I mixed street style with white gel paint and cover the braid with two coats of color. Use Fawn Beige to add shadows and used Iced Coffee to deepen the shadows and add hair strands. Save this palette because we'll be using it later. Then use Black Gel Paint to define each loop of the braid. To create the hair comb, trace over the design with Black Gel Paint and then trace over it again using silver. Fill in the gems of the comb with top coat and sugar them with lavender fire opal. To create Ella and Jim, fill in your outline with natural clear sculpt. Using the palette we made earlier, fill in Ella's hair with blonde and fill in Jim's hair with iced coffee. For their skin tones, I mixed white gel paint with exo beige and fawn beige. Then using red velvet and blush kisses, fill in their clothing. Use black gel paint to lightly outline their facial features. Add shading using Feroche Black. I like to use a detail brush to outline where my shadows are going to go and then use a flat dry brush to blend the color. Once you're done shading, use black gel paint to darken their facial features. Using Feroche Black again, add shadows to the clothing. I wanted the top portion of my nail tips to look like vintage book illustrations, so I coated them with Pawn Beige and added the Pawn Shop and Salon using Iced Coffee. And add shadows and lettering using Feroche Black. Paint the bottom portion of the nails with Exo Beige and distress the edges with Feroche Black. To create an ink, then enough for my calligraphy pen, I mixed black gel paint with the Clean It solution. It was a little too cold in my house, so I ended up microwaving it on a low setting until it was no longer sticking to the glass. After allowing it to settle back to room temperature, it wrote fairly smoothly. And finally, no Valentine's Day set would be complete without a bouquet. So I created various flowers using Sculpt and painted them with a variety of the Tammy Taylor colors.
I wish you all a happy Valentine's Day and I hope you enjoyed this design. Thanks for watching.